So it looks like the first contestant for Love Island Summer has already been announced as well. And yeah, this is the first girl. Hey guys, it's Marab Ronnie back again. It is daily and consistent content. Subscribe, click that button. Let's get straight into this video. So first girl they are saying is Chloe Baker. Now this girl um, is somebody who's worked with Pretty Little Thing, who's worked with, you know, many other brands and has, was initially announced to be on Love Island Winter. But it could be a Sophie Piper situation where... She was announced for Love Island 2019, but then ended up on Love Island Winter instead, which I'm sure she probably regret. No shade, no tea. But it looks like Chloe Baker, um, Chloe Baker has been rumored to go on. She's worked with Missy Empire, Lipsy London, basically all of these companies. I don't know how old she is, but she definitely is being rumored to be the first, you know, girl announcement for this Love Island summer cast. So we'll just see what happens. You've got Andre and you've now got Chloe. So I'm just intrigued to know how this season of Love Island is going to go. I feel like this particular season of Love Island is basically the make it or break it of the this franchise because you know the social media ban and the repetitiveness of it coming on already in two months I think are two big killing factors so we'll just see what it does and um, it's interesting because ITV have actually reported a 10% drop in um, Avenue um, not Avenue sorry in revenue um, over the first couple of three four months so it clearly shows that you know we'll just see you know what it, what, ha what happens when it comes to these TV shows because I think Love Island it's it, it, it's giving Big Brother season eleven it's giving X Factor season two thousand and one hundred and eight so I think that's what it's basically giving um, we've seen so much of it we know what's going to happen it's going to be the same Casa Amor the same movie night the same X Y Z so I just hope that it's good um, yeah reports are saying that Maya Jama and Stormzy are back together again because um, she apparently was doing sh strings of visits at his house I feel like the son always lie about her so I'm not going to believe until they both announce it separately but it is interesting reports are also saying that Casey and Claudia are you know seeing each other again personally I'm just not invested I think it's too late I think it's obviously you know for relevancy PR that's what it's just giving um, and so I'm just not that invested to be honest with you a new franchise of Love Island has started and that is Love Island Malta and they're already warning people to be kind because they're facing a lot of bad comments these contestants who've been announced but Love Island Malta I didn't even know that that was I didn't even know that was even happening so there's just so many of these shows it's not Drag Race where you can do Drag Race Mexico which they just announced Drag Race Spain, America, Australia, UK, like that for some reason works because we're seeing different people with different talents, they're bringing something different. But I feel like with Love Island, we're, we're being brought the same thing, the same structure, but it's just like, it's the same, I don't know how to describe it, but I just feel like it doesn't work for Love Island, in my opinion. So yeah, first contestants announced um, for Love Island Summer, well, she's a rumored contestant, but you know, I think that she definitely is going to be on. And we'll just see when the rest is announced. I don't know when is the rest. Uh, maybe you guys can comment down below. I don't know when else everybody else is being announced in the proper VTs. I think it's probably a week before end of May. Um, but yeah, damn. I just feel like this Love Island Winter is really messed everything up. We get zero breathing space and it's so impactful because it's like, ugh, again, like I'm not ready for it. Whereas we would have been waiting a whole nice year for this and there would have been a lot more build up. So yeah, let me know your thoughts are and I'll catch you guys soon for another review.